My name is Nuri Newman. I'm a professional kayaker. This is the story of how I spray myself with a berry pillant on a kayaking trip. I had plans to go to the US to compete and do trips and my US visa got denied because I don't have a proper job and how do you explain a stubborn immigration officer that kayaker is a job? Well, I don't even know how I could convince myself that. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, I'll do different things. So I went to British Columbia in, in Canada, into the Pitt River. <sighs> the challenge about this river is that no one had been in there before. I was not sure that I could make it down safe. The trip started when my friend drove me to Squamish and she gave me a bear spray. At some point, she just turned around and she's like, just so you know, I support you, but I disapprove. So it was, it was kind of hard, you know, living with that. You're like, okay, this is probably a idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just the beginning. Not even five hours later, she was right, you know, like halfway through the day one hike. Going that way and it's gonna be cold and miserable. It just started like pouring snow and it was windy and it was just like, okay, this is not great. Check this out. Pretty cool, eh? Except from the wind and the cold and it's scary. But that was still nothing compared to the second day where I had to go up and over this pass. It got really steep. I was uh, fairly freaked out. Kind of have to navigate and not mess up. So here, there's a ridge there, crevasse here, crevasse here. But then as I started hiking, I was like, oh, nice. There's a trail here people must come here and, and then I keep hiking and I have to go through some very low holes in the bush. And I'm like realizing, this is not people that come here. Like it's definitely bears. And then I look around and I see bear poop. And I'm like, oh shit. maybe I should get the bear spray out. But Krista in the car, the morning she dropped me off. She's like, do you even know how to use the bear spray? And I'm just like, right, good point. I don't know how to use the bear spray. Next thing I know, I'm clipping the bear spray to my life jacket, so I have it. And when you hike through the BC forest, you're pretty much like in the branches and trying to, to make your way through. And at some point I just heard the <laughs> The a branch had caught the bear spray and undone the safety lock. First reflex, I'm like closing my eyes. <laughs> it burns and it just sucks. I reach my water bottle and there's just this much left. So I try to rinse my eye, but it's not working. The problem is with a loaded kayak in the forest, you cannot really go anywhere if you're not looking and breathing. And so I keep going as I got down the mountain, all I could see was uh, branches that for the most part were slapping my face. <laughs> this day sucks. It was definitely scary that night. You know, when it gets dark and you have nothing to do and then you start freaking out and making up, you know, stories and getting scared every time I hear like a little branch. Because if I'm like facing a bear and I'm already like managing to mace myself, I have no chance, you know, like that bear will win. You know, I'm happy when it's the morning and I, I get to keep going again. Eventually I got to the river and then things got much easier. Yeah. Sunshine, water, no more bushwalk. I could paddle and make some distance. And eventually on the paddle out, I, I saw a bear. I was like, ooh, you know, I was kind of super scared. And I was in my boat, and so I was trying to make noise to let the bear know that I was there. He didn't even care about me. So that was kind of cool.
we're talking now, the Pitt River is good. Whew. And then I saw this jet boat. It's like a flash red jet boat. And Danny's good looking Canadian. I just don't know why I screamed. Hey, cool boat. And then I just start joking. I was like, hey, if you see me struggling on the lake, give me a ride. And then he's like, well, just wait for me at the mouth of the river. And the boat showed up and they gave me like a 20 minute ride, a beer and a really good sandwich <laughs> straight into Vancouver. For more crazy stories, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.